Will my arteries stay open or will they occlude or clog up again? We don't know. Our hope is they stay open. They stay open forever. Blood flow keeps going to your legs and your tissues and you don't have any more pain, any more ulcers, any more problems. And that does happen with a lot of patients. Um, unfortunately, because of the risk factors for PAD, which we've talked about in another video, consumption of processed foods and processed carbohydrates and sugar, smoking, um, lack of activity, etc., diabetes, because of all these things, if those factors stay in place, and we certainly counsel a lot of our patients to try their best to change all those factors uh, and potentially stab off the worsening of disease or maybe even reverse disease. But if those risk factors stay in place, um, then sometimes the arteries can get occluded again over time. Now this doesn't happen overnight usually, it usually takes years, which isn't too bad. You'll have years of optimal blood flow to your legs. Whenever we perform procedures on patients, we follow up with them every year just to check up, take a look at their arteries, speak to them, make sure that they're not occluding again. Because if they start occluding again, we'd like to nip that in the bud, catch it early and revascularize again early. Sometimes when I see patients at consult and evaluation, which I sometimes do, um, I, 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 I um, explain to them that PAD revascularization is sort of like going to the dentist. We all brush our teeth and floss, but we go to the dentist every couple of years and sometimes our teeth are still dirty regardless. And they have to do that sort of deep cleaning and scraping. And then your teeth feel great and clean afterwards. And your dentist tells you, you know, go home, blush, brush, floss, don't eat sugar. And you do your best to do that. Then you go back to the dentist a couple years later and invariably they've gotten somewhat dirty again. And sometimes you need another cleaning. Not the end of the world. That's certainly a better alternative than letting them continue to get worse and, 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 and have dental caries and cavities and the end stage would be having to have your teeth taken out and getting dentures. That's not a good outcome. So the analogous situation for your leg arteries would be if, if we completely ignore, you and we completely ignore what's happening with your leg arteries, they'll just get worse and worse and worse. Oftentimes, they'll get occluded, uh, not for all patients, but for some patients, they'll get occluded and the end result left totally untreated for unfortunately a lot of patients would be amputation. We don't want that, you don't want that. So the key is, just like the dentist does, let us evaluate early, see if your arteries are occluded, see to what degree they're occluded. If they're not occluded too badly, some of the lifestyle changes, dietary modification, cessation of smoking, increasing activity, these things can work absolutely to stop disease from progressing and even to reverse disease. And we strongly encourage that. If you're beyond that stage, this is the natural course of disease. I have another video about this. If you're beyond that stage and you're occluded, still not too bad but beyond really what lifestyle management is going to be able to reverse then that's where we come in we can do our endovascular procedure minimally invasive image guided doesn't hurt outpatient go home the same day and your arteries should be clean and blood should be flowing well as i mentioned earlier we will follow up with you periodically every few weeks early on then every year long term hopefully they'll never start occluding again uh, and that's great we have plenty of patients thousands of patients that are like that you just don't occlude again Unfortunately, we have some patients that do, they do slowly start occluding again, and that's okay. We find it early, we open those arteries up again, uh, the same way, doing a minimally invasive revascularization procedure. So very difficult question to ask, will they occlude again or not? We don't know, it varies. A lot of patients it never does, some they do over time, and uh, either way, we have you covered, we're gonna follow up with you, and if they re, re early on, we're gonna uh, nip them in the bud and open those arteries and restore blood flow again.